Well, guys, the full Total Rush team has been leaked, and it looks insane. Honestly, it is exactly what we thought it might be after seeing the Mbappe leak, and uh, we'll talk about that, obviously. The Premier League Player of the Month winner has also been announced, and it should come out today, I would expect. It's not a surprise on who won it, but we'll look at that. Some market movement. The market is just so easy to make coins this year, guys. It is so predictable the way the market moves this year. We'll talk about that. Some pack leaks as well. We got a lot of things to talk about today. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for being here. Quartz Skellia came out today and he actually looks pretty good. Five star, five star. If you guys would like to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com. There will be a link in the description. They are the cheapest and safest option. You can use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. The stats obviously are going to be very good on him. I think what actually makes him better than his stats even seem are the play styles. The fact he has finesse, incisive, and technical is is really really good trickster fake shots as well if you still like doing those Ravella's is good this year i mean it's, he's got really really good play styles so that's also a positive for this card i'd be curious to know how good he actually is if you guys have tried him and guys can we please talk about this for a sec what in the hell are we doing here the evolution came out today that was pretty decent right it was fifty thousand coins magic knights and it gives out a pretty decent upgrade there's like a marcus rashford card in here that looks very very good you can scroll down here and see where is he right here you know 89 pace 88 shot 82 dribbling it's a, it's a very good card with power shot plus as well five star skills it's a good card for this time of the year for sure i want to complain too much about that but you can't put evolutions in here the rarity you make it rare what on earth happened to more inclusive evolutions we have seen almost none of that so far what the fuck are we doing we're just going back on that because like oh it's oh it's just what if it's too good they make it they get one card in their team that's like good i mean it just come on guys play styles max seven get the hell out of here with this bullshit okay i'm tired of such restrictive evolutions that was one of the selling points of this game game this year was more evolutions and more cards can fit into evos we've not seen more of them i mean compared to like the beginning of last year yes but the end of last year we're seeing a lot of them that's not any different and they're not any more inclusive so what are we what are, what are we doing here maybe it's the start of the year so like they're just worried about that it'll change as time goes on but so far i'm wondering where the changes are really at okay on with the leaks now we do have the official card of killian mbappe we know he's been lead to be in the team this is what his card is going to look like um i mean there's no point in even looking at this card for longer than five seconds this card exists to strictly form gambling addictions we're going to move on swiftly cristiano ronaldo though he has been leaked to be in the team as well and this is also his official stats he should actually be a little bit more affordable on the 86 dribbling 84 pace it doesn't look like that insane of a card looks good for sure power shot plus of course but not that insane like it could have been maybe hopefully he'll be a little bit more affordable for some people out there like ronaldo's in this promo as well and it just keeps going kevin de bruyne has been leaked as well this is also his official card 80 pace for kdb this card is going to be stupid expensive an 80 pace kdb with the with these stats yeah stupid expensive similar to his winter wild cards was that last year or two years ago i don't remember which winter wild card he was in but it will be similar to that very expensive and then we got news that raheem sterling is coming in the team also as an sbc and this is his official card also looks like a pretty standard winger in the premier league 90 pace 88 dribbling 85 shooting curious to know what his roles will be no play style plus there it looks like but definitely another hyped up player sbc another winger SBC as well, but will definitely be completed a lot, I assume. And another SBC here, Alex Awobi, his official stats as well, coming as an SBC, 86 pace, 80 shot, kind of a really unique card, similar to what his actually was that a squad foundations card last year was, kind of like a midfielder winger hybrid there. I like this card a lot if you can play like center mid as well, I feel like it's a very, a very unique card, but that will also be an SBC. Then we got this card as well, which I'm sure most of you probably saw already on the home screen of Ultimate Team. They had like a Lauren James ad and she was in there these are also her stats she looks very very good and then from here on out we get the full team and the full team looks crazy because you look through here and you're like holy shit there's big names that we haven't even seen yet Antoine Griezmann is in the team Frankie de Jong is in the team Let's actually zoom in so we can get a better look at kind of everybody here these are all of the official stats as well guys every stat in here is going to be their official stats so Griezmann 82 pace 90 shot 90 dribbling we know Griezmann's very very good this year Frankie de Jong looks like a really really good midfielder with Travella plus of course Travella's we we know are back this year of course marta is in there chua many a chua many is insane by the way if you've not used him yet as a holding midfielder that card is insane and that just it gives me more faith in like this might be the best patrick vieira year of all time because chua many is always like a light vieira chua many is ridiculous arquinos is in there very good center back intercept plus williamson the arsenal center back who has 80 dribbling wow brent alexander arnold who I actually like a lot this year as well especially with 82 pace that'll be even better terry abiera i think is how you say that looks like a really solid midfielder from real madrid Grid. Some good links. Aspoliqueta is there. Zvava and Uranovich. So that is the full team. You can look at all of them here again. 
Ren, plus the Sterling SBCs, plus the Awobi SBC. It looks very, very good. What I'm really hoping to get in this promo is just some rush objectives, right? That would be awesome to me. Just once in a while, make some rush objectives with really, really good packs that take a long time to, to earn, right? You can make it a lot of rush points, but obviously you earn rush points for still losing the game. So you can kind of play a little more, bit more casually and then earn a lot of good packs. However, they do need to fix the AFK in rush. That needs to be like priority number one for them. If they can fix that, then sure, make like uh, rush objectives as much as you want to because they are casual. You don't have to win or lose. Of course, you get them faster if you win, but you don't have to win. So I think it's a very good balance. So that's just what I hope we see. I'm sure you guys probably hope the same thing. We know rush is one of the best parts of this game. Let's embrace it a little bit because I think we're going to get very tired of rivals soon. Uh, I didn't even play the, all, the whole 15 wins this week. I don't even have the rewards in this video because I didn't play the full 15 wins. I was too busy. I do this as a borderline job and I was too busy to play. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's like for you guys out there who have children or if you're in college or whatever the hell you're doing. Good luck in 15 rivals wins. Go play squad battles and watch my tips video I made yesterday. And then we got the Premier League player of the month. We knew who was going to win it. It's just official confirmation now. The stats, I believe, are just predicted. So keep that in mind as well. But it will look something very similar to this. Cole Palmer will probably be dropping today. If I had to guess, it could even be like by the time you're seeing this video, possibly like in the AM UK time, or it could just come out for content today. But it usually comes out day of and it's announced today. It was just leaked beforehand that Palmer is the winner. The Serie A player of the month winner is also announced today and that came out already. We did get some pack leaks as well. It's all store packs though. So not much really taken into account here unless you're Bateson, of course. There is a 15 by 84 pack already, which is kind of interesting. Five attackers, midfielders, and defenders there. Just trying to think of things that could be tradable. Of course, that one says it's untradable. This one does not say it's untradable. So maybe that could add some supply and stuff like that. Then we got this one down here, which is a 20 by 82. That one's also untradable. But five guaranteed to have 80 shooting or higher. Just spin the fucking wheel on anything at this point. They're just trying to get you to do anything. Also, we did receive preseason rewards today. I ended up with one 80 by 10 pack, I'm pretty sure. Some people were saying, though, that they didn't get all of them. Or yeah, this guy said I did them, but got nothing. Some said it just took a little while. Some have still not received anything. So these rollouts always take a while. They're never like everybody gets it at the exact same time. It's never flawless because it just can't be. So hopefully in the next day or two, you'll end up receiving yours. I thought this was a funny tweet from Bekelme too. Zero Serie A cards when they know everyone's got a Serie A team. So the top reply down here is saying like EA baiting everyone to Serie A and now they're going to bait everyone into another league. They are too good at what they do. Do you guys think that's actually the case here? Why are there no Serie A cards? Of course, you could say if they made a bunch of Serie A cards in here, wouldn't that be more incentivizing to open packs because then like more guys fit in your team seamlessly? Or do they want you to just build a whole new team with whatever you pack, right? I guess they can't really win, I suppose, in that situation, but it is funny seeing no Serie A cards here. Okay, on to the market. And guys, again, the market after rewards absolutely boomed. I hope you went and bought stuff half an hour after, something like that. I really hope so because everything went up. I saw Mo Salah at 220. I saw Holland at 110. I saw Saliba at 210. And they're all up huge to the point where you could have invested in them. You bought them for your team. They're up a bunch. I mean, you just, you can't miss if you buy after rewards. You just can't miss. I saw, uh, where's Alexia Puteas here? Alexia Puteas was at 460. Yeah, 460. I saw her cheapest sale was obviously 440 there. I saw her at 460 up to 531 right now. You don't need me to tell you anymore. Obviously, it's going to work out for you if you buy it for Thursday Rivals Rewards. But I still am under the impression a little bit here that I do think we're going to see a crash soon. I still do think so. I think Sunday sell off. This weekend league itself could just lead to a bit of a downturn in the market. I do think so. I think we're seeing like that lower tier already really hit that point. Rashford was there, right? We know that before the evolution, he was there. Doku's there now, right? That next tier of card is going to be next. And I think that that's going to affect like anything less than 100K is going to really be affected by this. Nico Williams, Griezmann type cards are going to be heavily affected, I think, like coming up this weekend. They'll just eventually reach a point that's going to be hard for them to get back up out of. So that's all I got to say really about the market, I think, at the moment. And okay, let's read your comments now. Sam Dixon, I swear, high difficulty squad battles. The AI is programmed to just time waste so you can't score five goals. It could be four nil down and still running slash passing backwards. I genuinely do agree with this. I know it's like a conspiracy. I think like squad battles, AI is literally programmed to just have the other person score as little points as possible. If it's four nil down, they're not trying to like go all out attack to have you win. They don't really give a shit. Like they're just gonna have you try and score as little points as possible. I, I actually kind of buy into that. Anton Gregory says, I honestly do not get the panic about L1 speed boost nerf. So people think Leao and Nico Williams will suck now. Of course not. They'll still be faster and better than other wingers. They're actually more important now, debatably. Rapid plus and quick step plus players because you can't do the speed boost very well without those anymore. You still kind of can with them. So it, debatably, they made the ones that actually have rapid plus and quick step plus more important. Assistable says, I swear they made gameplay worse. And it's one of those things, again, where it's like, we're probably 
probably just playing more of the game, seeing the flaws more. People are abusing the flaws of the game more. There's a lot of reasons, I think, as to why the gameplay could seem to get worse. The honeymoon phase just being over, of course. One of those things where it's, it's like, you know, does the patch make things significantly worse? I do think patches tend to not help and they tend to not actually know what they're doing on the patches and people kind of blame all of the gameplay issues on these patches that ruin it every year or I feel like usually just as the year goes on we tend to see the flaws more people abuse the flaws more plus we get patches in that also probably don't help so it kind of is both things not just the patches itself and Line Eyes has great video thank you currently my floor is semi-pro what tactics slash strategies can I work on to get that up to professional world class is my ceiling it gets very low chem sometimes I win 13 14 nil when do I know it's time to try legendary probably about that time yeah if you can easily beat world class you might as well try it you pretty much have to at some point just take the risk you be like okay i'm ready to move up and just try the next one you can play offline if you want to but it's like most people probably aren't gonna want to do that the only real way to know is if you tried you kind of have to take that risk sometime and try and that's just what i think ea kind of want here is like more stakes right the stakes are higher now in squad battles stakes are high everywhere all the time because fuck you spend money that's what they want now that's why i thought friendly is gonna be a really nice change this year we haven't seen that yet i hope that ends up being the case i'm pessimistic already but maybe as the year goes on we'll see more friendly stuff but that's all i gotta say hey thank you all for watching i love you all